Friends, welcome back to God's Playbook. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Luke the Evangelist. What the heck is an evangelist? We're going to talk about that. St. Luke, though many people feel is an apostle, is actually not an apostle. I can't tell you how many First Communion Masses I celebrate, and the kids get all fired up. Tell me one of the 12 apostles. Father Rico, I know, St. Luke. It's like, no, St. Luke was not one of the 12 apostles. So an evangelist is something that we're going to talk about in a second. But certainly, he is one of the wonderful examples of how the Holy Spirit has spoken to us in sacred scripture through human beings, and St. Luke is one of those. Today, October the 18th, is his feast day, and we recognize that St. Luke was primarily focused on teaching the gospel message to an audience that is not Jewish. In other words, he generally wrote to a Greek audience. And so we recognize that St. Luke was a very learned person who likely knew several languages. So I said, what is an evangelist? An evangelist is one of the four, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, gospel authors. And so the authors of the gospel, which we call evangelists, tell us, evangelize, spreading the good news of Jesus Christ. Now, St. Luke was a disciple of St. Paul. So again, many people think that St. Luke followed Jesus. However, that's not the case. St. Luke was inspired by the example of Jesus through the faithful teaching of St. Paul. So I pray that many of you saw the movie Paul, the Apostle of Christ, that just came out a few years ago. In that movie, Luke is depicted as being one of St. Paul's best friends. And almost like he would follow him around and write down the teachings of St. Paul, specifically those that speak of Jesus Christ. So we recognize that St. Luke wrote the gospel to assist us to come to know Jesus in a very beautiful way. What's also unique about St. Luke's gospel is that he takes a prominent place in bringing out the role of women in Jesus's time. When you look at the Gospels of Matthew and Mark, friends, which are written to primarily a Jewish audience, you'll recognize that it focuses on the role of men, where St. Luke really touches on the role of women and how Jesus came to speak to all people. St. Luke is a patron saint of many different groups, of artists, physicians, bachelors, surgeons, students, and of all things, butchers. Sometimes we wonder, how did they get signed up to be the patron saint of a particular group? I'm still wondering how St. Luke became the patron of butchers. So all you butchers out there, he's your boy. Nonetheless, we recognize that St. Luke was also attributed for being one of the first icon painters. So you artists out there, those of you who are very creative, we thank God for all the gifts that he has given to you in your creativeness. But St. Luke is known of painting pictures of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the child Jesus. And St. Luke's works were known as helping people in a visual way to come to know Jesus. And some of his works were given to some of the apostles like St. Thomas that were later brought to India as St. Thomas brought the message of the gospel to the people there. And so we recognize that Christians believe that St. Luke was a martyr. And so he too spilled his blood for the sake of the gospel. And so for St. Luke, he came to know Jesus not because he saw him with his own eyes, but rather the example of Jesus, who had already died and rose from the dead, impacted him so much so that as he opened the Holy Spirit in his own life, he became a tool to evangelize the gospel of Jesus for others. Today, as we reflect upon the example of St. Luke, 
May we thank God for his gospel that has helped so many of us come to know Jesus more, but also that his intercession as the patron saint of so many may help us to come to know God in a very real and practical way. And so let us call upon the intercession of St. Luke to help us. Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, we thank you for the gift of St. Luke, whose writings help us to come to know you more and more. May we follow in his footsteps, inspired by the teachings and method of Jesus, a call to love you and neighbor with our whole heart, mind, soul, and strength. May we be bold like St. Luke was in telling others of your name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Luke, pray for us. For God's Playbook, I'm Father Rico. God loves you and so do I.